impairment cues. Hey, this guy just ran out of the ambulance. Yeah. I have no idea. How do you get out of the ambulance? How do you get out? Two officers immediately enter their squad car and take off, sirens blaring. The dispatcher provides a description over the radio as the officers make a mad dash for the hospital. The majority of body camera footage in the following video has never been seen before, and information included in the video was obtained through actual police reports. When a bus driver transporting approximately 40 middle school students refuses the director's radio transmitted orders to pull over, complete chaos ensues. All responding parties attempt to make sense of the confusing situation. In just a few seconds, you'll meet the man behind the mayhem. You'll be absolutely flabbergasted as to how he was able to operate any type of machinery, let alone a school bus packed full of children. Hey, buddy. Hey. What is wrong with you guys? I'm just asking your name. What's your name? Mark McNeil. Mark McNeil? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, Mark McNeil. I don't lie to anybody. Okay. okay, relax. Let's rewind a bit. Everything started at approximately 2 p.m. on February 9th, 2022. When we pick up momentarily, you'll see that EMS has just responded to a scene where a man is complaining that he's having difficulty breathing and is experiencing pain in his legs. Upon arrival, it's discovered that just moments earlier, he was driving a school bus filled with children from Buddy Taylor Middle School, located in Palm Coast, Florida. A first responder is speaking with Keonda Gilmore, safety and training coordinator, in an attempt to figure out this bizarre scenario that is unfolding right before their eyes. I'm getting part of it right now. I'm trying oh, to notice. Uh, huh? He admitted to two beers, so. Okay. See? But I do think there might be some psych stuff going on, too. Yep. He dropped his kids off the porch. No, they said he didn't have kids. He, didn't have kids. he, 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 he was doing his route. Yeah, uh, Smith today. Uh, huh? Yeah. Remember this particular bus service employee. We'll hear from her shortly. Okay. Yeah. This is a yeah, public, public affairs nightmare. Yeah. No question about that. Most definitely a public affairs nightmare. More importantly, however, a parent's nightmare. Definitely just said, oh, I've had a couple of years. So what? You yeah. Hold that against me. There's so much going on. Just so you know. What is his I'm medical reason for going right now? Just because he's. He just wants to meet his wife at the hospital? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. He does. He didn't want to go, but it said his, his wife it. was on the phone, said, I'll meet you there. And he's like, okay. Boy. Hey, sugar's good. Does that help? Uh, it's beer, yeah. beer and cake is hot. Mark is now being loaded into an ambulance en route to the local hospital for further examination. One of his colleagues has been tasked with completing the remainder of the bus route in order to get the terrified students who are still on the bus safely home. Members of local law enforcement remain at the scene as they continue efforts to get to the bottom of everything in this peculiar investigation. According to Kianda, she asked that he pull over to a safe location. When he got to the school and we radioed him to pull that bus over at a safe location, he, did. he was told to get one bus, but he did not get that bus. He jumped into a, a totally opposite bus. So that was when we noticed something was wrong because he was told one bus. Huh? Is this director pulling out? Yes. So then when he didn't take that bus, that's when she said, oh, I, I kind of smell alcohol. And she didn't say that before or anything, though. This allegation that Mark had apparently smelled of alcohol wasn't made official until after he had already departed to complete his afternoon route. However, the witness would later explain what made her unsure of the possibility, as she's completing a statement to assist with the investigation. Most likely, you'll recognize her. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I know it's a lot, but this is really going to help the case. So, well, this is probably going to... My, my job is on the line. I smelled it on him, but I wasn't sure what it was because I had COVID mm. six months ago and I still don't have my sense of smell back. I smelled something sweet. At least you said, you know, some people would have just brushed off the, brush it under the rug I and would have been like, you know what? Sooner. I should have. I should have. But shame on all of us. I'm not saying any names, but shame on me. I will say shame on me. Let's return to Kianda as she continues to relay the details of the bus chase to a responding officer. In just a few seconds, we'll also meet Transportation Director Dontarius Rowles. As you can imagine, 
He's doing his best to tread carefully as he navigates this unusual situation. Little do they know, things are about to go from strange to downright crazy. Does he have any history of, like, well, DUI, alcohol, you know, not, substance not abuse or anything? Knowledge. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey, how are you? Yes. All right, so, we got a, uh, got a little uh, bit of, uh, a, of a cluster here. Yeah. All right, so, are you? what are you up to speed on right now? Um, I, I've been talking about this a bit more, so I'm pretty versed. We came out okay. here um, to you guys immediately once we was tipped off because that's not a practice of ours. He should have never left. Right. No, and, and listen, we're not here to accuse anyone. We're not saying anything like that. We're just trying to figure out the timeline. He, he's like, a mandatory reporter. The reason that we notified you, I mean, um, he, um, so if he has any uh, under influence because they're on the CDL, we need to know that. Yeah. So he, reason, he admitted to the fire department that he had two beavers. Okay. So he openly did. So um, I don't know how this works, but we need to do a blood draw because isn't it considered a DUI or something like that? There's a whole. That's what we we have a whole process for that. We're so long. Okay. Through. You saw so, him driving, right? Or I he saw was. Him and we have a um, video too. I don't know if that helps. Oh uh, yeah. Um, if we can see anything, like if he has any uh, impairment cues. Hey, this guy just ran out of the ambulance. Yeah. I have no idea. How do you get out of the ambulance? How do you get out? Just a moment later, the officer behind the camera cuts the discussion short. She and her partner are dispatched to the hospital where, as you just heard, Mark has made a run for it. As the officers exit their vehicle, Mark's antics, for lack of a better word, continue. What did I do? Wait, wait. What did I do? What did I do? Sir. Stop yes, sir, like that. Okay, okay, I understand, but what did I do? We'll explain everything in just a second. All right, okay, 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 okay. oh my God. I didn't do anything. Can I, can I go home? No, no, no. one second. I can't go home? Hold on. What's going on, man? No. What am I doing? Something. The female officer returns to the squad car and obtains a pair of exam gloves. Did I do something wrong? I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? So he jumped out of a... Yeah, yep. He yeah, took off from the ambulance, yep. I'm sorry? Hey, wait, you're pushing me. You're pushing me hard. Okay. Yeah, you're pushing me hard. I'm barely touching you. I don't you. like that. Barely touching you. I don't you. like that. You're pushing me hard. Yes, you are. You're pushing me hard. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do, sir? Honestly, honestly. Why'd you jump just out of curiosity? Why'd you jump out of a daggum ambulance? I drive the school bus. I understand that. Okay. Why'd you jump out? Why'd you jump out? I didn't jump out of the school bus. Okay? I just jumped out because I was scared. Okay? I not I'm not gonna lie to any of you. I didn't say you no, I'm not gonna lie. You know. You see me. You see me. Go ahead and face the car. Look away from me, please. Yes. You have anything on you that I should know about? Yes. What do you yes. have? What's the matter with you? What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, sir. I didn't, sir. Sir, you want... Relax. Okay, we're going to explain to you what's going on, okay? I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I love my wife. My wife is home. She's worried about me. I have... Five kids. Where's and your ID at? Children. Where's your ID at? Okay. Where's your ID at? Excuse me. Where is your identification at? Um, in my wallet. In your wallet. Where's your wallet? In the car. In the car. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Deputy King. I would not lie to you. There's nothing in there. There's nothing. You don't have anything. It's in the car. 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 It's in the in his car, it's right? in your in car. car. Yeah, it's right there in my wallet. Okay. I would not lie to anybody. Okay. Right, so I don't lie to anybody. Hey. Okay. What is wrong with you guys? I'm just asking your name. What's your name? Mark McNeil. Mark McNeil? Yes. Okay. All right, all right, Mark. I don't lie to anybody. Okay, okay relax. Here, here's the situation. You want to okay? You got I, I don't understand. I'm going to go to... For what? I'm going to tell you right now. Okay? For what? Are you gonna listen or you guys keep talking and I'll no, okay. we'll listen. Okay. Alright, you went to the hospital, right? You got an ambulance, correct? Yes. Okay. I got hit by a bus. You got hit okay? by a bus. Okay, yes. I was hit by a school bus. Okay. Okay. By walking or driving? I was driving a school bus and I was hit by a bus. Okay. 
then you okay. went to the hospital, and then you jumped out. No, no, I didn't go to a hospital. Right, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't go to a hospital. I, 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 holy crap. You're in the hospital, sir. Okay, we just want to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Well, I'm fine. Birth. I'm fine. Don't jump out. You guys did a birth? I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not. I'm yeah. fine. Okay. Listen right, to like, my wife. My wife will we, tell we you that I'm fine. I was just going to see if his name came up. Why am I getting arrested? You're not arrested. You're Listen to me. Look at the face. Mark, Mark, Mark. 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 Why am I getting arrested? Look at me. I'm looking listen, at you, listen, sir. Now listen. I'm looking at now you. Now listen. Now listen. Okay, this is serious. I'll explain no everything to you, okay? This is as far as we got. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are not under arrest. Okay, you are being detained at this time. Why? I'm driving I'm children on this time. Why? Okay. I didn't do anything yes. wrong. Okay. I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, Come on over here, I didn't do anything wrong, man. I was trying to figure what? that out right now. I didn't do You're anything wrong. Okay. You said you were driving a bus, right? Yes. All right. I drive a school bus for the last five years. Okay. okay. Yes. I don't yes. Know and I'm getting out. arrested for what? You're being detained right now so we can figure out what happened. We're not doing anything right now besides trying to get information, okay? You were there. How, I, how was I You were there. I saw you there yesterday. I saw you there. I didn't work yesterday. So yeah. I don't know how you yeah, did I wasn't there, but I saw you there yesterday. Hey, what, what's your okay. birthday, man? Huh? What's your birthday? Yeah. Yeah, why are you guys so, holding me? So why? What? I'm not going to go you away. You ran out of the ambulance. I'm not going to go away. Not gonna run from no, her. no. No, no. I'm not going to go away. Why are you holding me? I don't mean to butt in. Yes, sir. But. I know this guy. Uh huh. He's a bus driver. Right. For yeah. The school district. Uh huh. I don't know what's going on, but I just wanted to vouch for him. But, yeah, I heard that much. And if he doesn't have ID on him or whatever, his name's Mark. He works. He works in the transportation department at the high school. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What's wrong yeah, with I'm you good. guys? You are arresting me for what? For what? Yeah. For what? Mark, do you have a middle name? Michael. Michael? And? Okay. Yeah. I want my wife. I want you to call my wife. What did I do? I didn't do anything. What do you got all over your back, sir? Huh? What do you have all over your back? My back? This is my, 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 what I wear when I drive a bus. No, but it looks like you either got puke or... Whatever, sir. Okay? Holy mackerel. You're detaining me for this? Uh, You're detaining me? Yes, yeah, so we can what? figure out what happened. What happened? We're waiting for you to tell us. I told you, you already. Call my wife. Call my wife. Your wife wasn't there. So how would she know? My wife knows. Okay. Your wife knows you were driving a school bus, right? I drive a school bus for the past five years. Okay. Okay? All right. So yeah. what happened so, today on the school bus? So, are you guys really keeping me here? We're just trying to figure out how you got from the ambulance. Because I wasn't hurt. I was not hurt at all. All I cared was when my kids were not hurt. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All I cared was my kids were not hurt. And you know what? And all the parents showed up at the bus stop and said the same thing. Hey, you know what? Hey, and I had, I had two students Two students and two parents that told me that they were sick of me. So I'm going to go to jail now? We're just trying to figure out why. I'm going to go to jail? I'm a good guy, man. I don't, all I care about is my children on the bus. That's all I care about. You know? That's all I care about is my kids on the bus. You know? That's and why you we're trying to figure out what happened. Arrest me? No, you're going to arrest me? We're trying to figure out what happened. You say you care about the kids on the bus. Some of the kids got home and were scared. So yes, we're of course they were scared. Of course they were. Why? Because they were scared. Why would you be you scared know? on school bus? Why were the kids listen, scared? Listen, listen. You know, do you know what you're talking about, man? No, that's why I'm trying to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. All I was afraid of was the kids being, being scared of, of being afraid of my bus. You know what, man? You know what? Arrest me if you want. Just arrest me, okay? Just arrest me. 
just arrest me. Just arrest me. Go ahead. I don't care. Mr. King. Okay. I'm Deputy Parker of the Fire County Sheriff's Office. Okay. I know, sir. Okay. I know who you are. Okay. Okay. I know who you are. Okay. With that being said, okay. I want you to tell. I want to tell you what I'm observing. Okay. When I talked to you earlier and asked you a couple questions. Smell an odor of an alcohol beverage. Not at you. all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. With that being said. Not at all. I understand. With that being said, are you willing to do field sobriety exercises? I already did one this morning. You did field sobriety exercises this yeah, morning. Yeah, because I had an accident yesterday. Yes. I had an accident yesterday. A guy hit me. Okay. A guy hit me. Okay. Okay. Sir, sir, are sir, you sir, willing sir. to do field sobriety exercises? Okay. No. No? Okay. No. You have that right. You okay, can't... so you're going to arrest me? Okay, so here's... Are you going to arrest I'm, me? Sir, I need you to listen to me. It's understandable that Mark wouldn't have an interest in completing a field sobriety test, given his current condition. If you found Mark's behavior to be entertaining so far, wait until you view his performance as he's placed into the back of Deputy Parker's vehicle. You really think that that would drive a bunch of school kids? Huh? You really think that? That I would do that. Yeah. 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 What the hell? What the hell are you look like? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, sir. Please stop moving. I'm not moving. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Look at you. Look at you. You would think that. Please. You would do that. Face huh? that way. You would do that. Hey. Stop. Don't hit me. Stop. Don't hit me. Stop. Don't hit me. You're not no getting my face again. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Look, he's hitting me. Mm -hmm. I see he's that. hitting me. Yeah. Yeah. Do not get yeah, in my yeah, face yeah, like that yeah, again. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, right. Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. You forced me in there. Sit down. Force me. Force okay, me. Mark. Force me. It's not going to go Force me. Force me. Come on. Force me. Sit down. Force me. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ow! Ow! You banged my head. Mm. Ow! Ow! Okay, Ow! 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 You banged my head. Now, for the drive to the Flagler County Inmate Center. You'll most definitely feel for Deputy Parker during the commute. I need to call my wife. Because he's definitely passive resisting. I need to so call my, my wife. To get in the car and all that stuff. You understand? So. Yep. Do you need anything from me? Nope. Oh, uh, I can't call my wife? Yes, sir. Sorry. When is going to happen? In four hours? It seems Mark urgently needs to contact his wife for whatever reason but it'll be a bit before he's given the opportunity to do so. In the meantime, he continues to rack up one charge after another, including driving under the influence, felony child neglect, and resisting arrest non-violently. I uh, do Dr. Control, Patrol. handcuffs are killing me here. Okay. All right, can I take them off, please? Well, I'll get them off to you. Can I take the handcuffs off, when I get please? To, when I get to They're the hurting me. Okay. They're hurting me. Okay. Sir, Please I'll just, take these off. I will get them off Please. to you when we get to the jail, sir. No, take them off me yeah. now. No, sir. They're hurting me. So I'm, I'm getting arrested I'm because, because I failed to, so I failed to take a, 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 a ambulance test. Yeah, that's nice. You're arresting me because I failed to take a, a an ambulance test, right? An ambulance test? Uh, yeah, yeah. You said I failed to go to an ambulance. Right? No. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. No. That's what you said. No, sir, it's not. That's what you said. The deputy is just as confused as we are as to what an ambulance test is. All of a sudden, Mark has gone quiet. Mr. Manel, are you still living in Ormond, sir? Mr. McNeil, are you still living in Ormond, sir? Okay. And how long have you been a school bus driver? Huh? How long have you been a school bus driver, sir? Okay. I'm trying to help you out. Do you want me to take those handcuffs off you when we get to the jail? Mr. McNeil? Mr. McNeil? You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Where are they hurting at, sir? Where are the handcuffs hurting at, chap? 
apparently the handcuffs aren't hurting Mark too badly at this point. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, Mark's voice can be heard once again. Mark, where are your handcuffs hurting you at? Huh? Where are your handcuffs hurting you at? You said your handcuffs hurting Huh? It does matter. It does matter. I, I do care. Okay. Are you don't care. Are you still? Okay. You don't care. I'm saying I do. The pair finally approach their destination, the Flagler County Inmate Facility. Hi. What's wrong, Mark? Mark, how long have you been a bus driver? How long have you been a bus driver, Mark? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Oh. Hey. 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 Excuse me. Hey. What are you doing, man? Oh. I'm so tired. You have sorry. Any major medical issues. I'm diabetes? sorry. Yeah. What? Right. Listen to me. You have okay. any major medical Whoa. issues, diabetes, heart conditions? No, I don't. You right handed or left handed? Yes, I'm right right handed. You have any drugs, weapons, or contraband? Uh, no, on you? no. Background in martial arts, no. boxing, military? No. All right, boys, now Holy shakies, man. Can I take these off of me? We're going to get them off you here Please, shortly, sir. Can we, can we, I can't, I can't take these. All right. Please, can I take them off? Can yeah, I take them off me? It's part of the process. All right, all right, all right, sir. Okay, sir. Let me know if you need any yes, assistance. Yes, no, I don't need no assistance. Oh, Five, three, God, three. I just got to get these off me. Oh, I can't get them off me. <laughs> I can't get them off me. Get them off me, sir. Can't get them off me, sir. There's no doubt that Mark is quite an entertaining character, but the fact remains that he endangered dozens of middle school children, as well as countless others that afternoon when he made the decision to climb behind the wheel of a school bus. After Mark arrived at the inmate facility, the deputy asked him if he'd be willing to submit to a breath sample, and Mark agreed to do so. At 4.10 p.m., the deputy collected two separate breath samples. The results were absolutely shocking. Though it was quite obvious that Mark was, in fact, under the influence, his blood alcohol levels were sky high. While he allegedly admitted to a first responder that he'd had a couple beers, the idea was thrown out the window when two simultaneous blood alcohol readings came in at .31 and .32, approximately four times the legal limit for a Florida driver. Levels this high are so dangerous they can result in alcohol poisoning or even loss of consciousness. Mark was able to post bail and was released. Approximately four months after the incident, on June 13th of 2022, he appeared in court for a plea hearing. Of course, in typical Mark fashion, so as not to disappoint, he was, well, have a look for yourself. I'm sorry? I think you're impaired. No, I'm not. I'm not impaired impaired at all. Despite his claims, we've grown to know Mark's behavior well enough to recognize that he is not being truthful. Go ahead and get you tested. Make sure that... I'm not getting tested. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, sir, is I'm going to go ahead and take you into custody right now because I think you are impaired. I'm not impaired at all. The denials continue, but as you'll see, they're short-lived. That, you know, you know what? I am impaired. Okay? I'm just sorry for what I did. And I'm, I'm terribly, with a horrible mistake... What I did, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One month later, on July 11th, Mark was sentenced to 18 months in prison. Needless to say, he is no longer employed by Flagler County School District. 